Hello, this is Douglas Dennis, the Alkaline Chef. This is Alkaline TV, and today we're talking about how to cook spelt bread. And this is not just any spelt bread, this is squash spelt bread. Have you been able to find your own spelt bread or just bread without any wheat? It's hard to find and it can be really expensive if you can even find it. So making it at home is not difficult. Here's the spelt flour. And that was just some butternut squash baked in the oven. So we're going to put about four and a half cups of spelt flour because we're making two loaves. All right, that was three, four, and about a half. All righty. And we're going to add sea salt, about a half teaspoon for each loaf. So it ends up being about a full teaspoon. And now we're going to add some agave. I like the bread a little bit sweet, this kind of bread, and that was a fourth of a cup. And if I were you, I would add all of the wet ingredients other than the sparkling water in another bowl first. But it worked out really well how we did it here. Um, just it might be a little bit easier when we start adding other ingredients in a second here. And we're gonna add about two and a half cups or so of squash and we just, we didn't measure it, but that was about two cups, maybe more. Here's some sea moss gel. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of it. And this is what I would mix in with the agave first. That way it won't be so hard to combine evenly. And the grapeseed oil I would do the same in with the agave and sea moss gel. So we're just gonna add about couple tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Now it's starting to resemble some dough, finally. All right, so this is a little bit too sticky. So we do have to sprinkle some spelt on top of it until it's a good consistency. When you're making bread, you don't want it to be too sticky. You want the dough to be a nice ball. And as you can see, we're just adding a little bit more spelt flour, kneading it by hand until it's firm enough. We probably added another, at least another half cup through all that. All right. Can you see it starting to look like dough? Now we sped this up <laughs> so as not to bore you. And wow, look at those hands go. All right, so we're gonna now just divide these two balls of dough so that we can make two loaves of bread. 
pretty simple. It would have been easier, like I mentioned, if we had mixed all that sea moss and everything separately. That would have saved some time. But other than that, this was very, very easy. And there's a little bit of flour at the bottom of the bread pan, just so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And we sprinkled some sesame seeds on top. You don't have to do that. We're just gonna bake these for about 50 minutes. It did take some time. So when the top is getting golden brown, you can poke something in the center to make sure that it's not still doughy in the middle. Usually you add a metal, um, there's a little metal thing that you can stab down and if the dough sticks to it when you pull it back out, then it's not done. But if it comes out clean, then odds are it is done. So here we've got two loaves of spelt bread and we're gonna make some avocado toast to try it out and make sure it is worthy. That's about it. Make sure to subscribe if you like these recipes. I have a lot of videos coming out. And also in the description, I have a link to my life transformation program, the Alkaline Life Transformation Program. So if you've been trying to go alkaline, but if you've noticed how difficult it is to do by yourself, not only because of all the disinformation, but the people around you might not be supportive, and also they might not know what's going on. The other problem is that if you try to search Google for what's alkaline or what's hybrid and what isn't, you're not gonna find it. It's difficult to find all this information. That's why it took me years and years and years to finally transform my own life. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video and in our free Facebook group. Until then, peace.